I got my bracket all made up. Got the nut in place and welded, and I think it's gonna work. I'm very happy with that how that sets. Everything bolts together properly. I don't know what that noise is. My best work in the dark. I, I'm, I'm, I work. I do mostly electrical, so you have to work in the dark. Hey, that's cool. Huh? It's already set to it. Yep. Nope. Nope. That's not working. <laughs> oh man. Okay, well, it just seems like it's rounding off. That's that's fine. That means use the universal wrench. And if this don't get it off, I have to make some lines. You know, that'll be fine. Oh, there it was. I got a little movement. Well, before I get too far with this, I'm actually going to pull these calipers off, get some paint on them, just because it doesn't look very good. It's already, that's already flash rust. I had some humidity from, uh, things finally starting to get warmer around here and, uh, instantly rusted. So yeah, we're going to get some, some kind of paint on there just so it don't look like that. That'd be nice. Yeah, this side's starting to look pretty bad too, starting to rust a lot. So we're going to pull them both off quick and then get some paint on them. Now we're just going to try to get the driver's side flexible brake hose off. Um, this one's still attached to the wheel cylinder and we need to get this out of there. Like that. There we go. A little bit of fluid in the line. I'll let that drain out. Yeah, I forgot. I gotta take this bracket off. Because I don't need this bracket. There's nothing for me to mount it to. Alright, got my hose. Alright, that should do her. Awesome. I can finally get my calipers attached. Sweet. Next guys, I gotta get this uh, master cylinder off here. It works, but I don't know for how long and if it's gonna start leaking, so I think it's gonna be better that I just get it replaced. Oh my goodness, it broke free with like almost no effort. This one did, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Ooh, that one's not, it wants a snapper. I think it went awesome. Well, that worked out pretty well. I'm gonna just get these off quick and we'll get going. Oh, well, I got a new one. It looks identical, but looks may be deceiving. I got a new rubber boot. That's nice. Didn't think about that at all. Oh, there is some kind of a thing with bobber holding it in. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't fry them up too long. I got some kind of teeth, so I guess I gotta undo the shaft on the inside. We'll do that! Now I should have that undone completely. Ta-da! So, get this apart, shaft in that, and we'll keep going. Just 
just like that. Cool. Oh, dang it. Forgot the rubber boot. Look at that. Now, boot on. It's on the right way to. There we go. Got her back together. Got the boot on and whatnot. I think that's. I think this goes that way if I'm right. I don't know. Not sure. Go with that. Looks good. Better pull these pl another plug out. Okay, let's get her back in. Oh, we got her bolted back in on, against the firewall at least. And uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to bench bleed it still. I was planning on doing it in the car. Because my favorite YouTuber is uh, Derek from Vice Rip Garage and he always does it in the vehicle because, you know, why not? Because you, uh, you're just doing the same thing as you would at the bench if you have someone pushing on the brake pedal. So we'll bleed that and we should be set. Woo! All right, now we're going to just give her just a little bit of paint. I don't really have much options right now, so I'm just going to use this matte black auto enamel from rust -Oleum. Sounds decent enough. At least I get something on there. I already hit it with some Duplicolor um, Rust Fix. It pretty much leaves this like shiny kind of finish on there. Um, but yeah, that's help, supposed to help fight rust. So sure, why not? So yeah, now that's been on there and it should be pretty much dry. So I'm gonna hit her with some enamel. idea how well that'll last, but at least it looks better, I guess. So that's, I guess, kind of an improvement. Cool. Officially, officially, uh, grease up this hub as much as I can. And just try to get things actually assembled the way it needs to be. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna try to get, knock this all out. Let's get going.
beautiful. Now for the brand new caliper that doesn't look like rust anymore. Ha ha. It was looking pretty bad. I wasn't going for perfection on this, but did want it to look pretty decent. That's it. I'm pretty happy with that. That looks awesome. Super full. Huzzah! We got brakes. And now I'm on to the driver's side. it guys finally have disc brakes mounted in the front I love it. it actually looks decent in here too the more you go up more terrible it gets but that's fine we'll get there eventually this is uh that looks awesome compared to what it used to look like so I'm very happy very good you can move on to getting the brake Flexible hoses attached and bleeding the brakes and probably actually go for a little putz. That'd be nice. Maybe gander at the rear brakes. I don't know. Could be a nightmare. May not do that. Yeah, for now. Either way. Someone's got disc brakes. This is awesome. <laughs> Can't wait. Alright guys, well I'm going to try to get the Gremlin at least driving so I can get it in back to the other stall I had it in originally. Um, because right now we got the Thunderbird back at home, so it was in storage, and it's a little tight in that garage with that in there. So every time we start this up, we get alarm going off unless we ventilate it very, very well. So um, we're gonna move the the Thunderbird into the other garage where I can at least take it out when I need to without as big of a hassle. It's a lot easier to vent there. So, the garage door, two windows, and a back door. So, there's a lot of stuff I still gotta do on this. More I get into it, more stuff needs to be done. How about that? That's a shocker. That never would happen on a project. But yeah, so we got brakes, hoses are on. I bled them somewhat, <laughs> so they're at least better. There might be some air pockets in the line, but it's going to at least about stop at a slow speed. So I'm not driving on the road. I'm just doing it so I can get it moved. So I think this will work for now, though. I'm going to get these tires on and then move a bunch of garbage and clean up so I can get a nice reset for working on it on the other side because we got more stuff to do. So here we go. All right. Let's see if we can get this back on. 
Got these from a good friend at work. He says I can quote unquote have them until I don't need them. So I'm going to borrow them for the time being because they actually have tread on these and they fit perfect. These are actually just off of Ford Ranger. It's awesome. I don't know if the hubcaps will fit on them, but that's pretty minor, I'd say. <laughs> these actually have tread. They have one spot where the dirt must have got them a little weather checked or something. Must have been some fertilizer or something in the soils, but it's fine. It, it's way, way better than what I got because the other ones are bias ply too. So, yeah, we'll zip some lug nuts on this just so we can at least move around a little bit. Get her back on her, on her feet again. That'd be nice. That would be all right by me. Jack stand should be removed now, and we can wrap her down. Awesome. All right, we're getting pretty close to about starting it up. I finally got an air cleaner on there. I don't remember how much I said about it before, but I had to do a little massaging. This is a air cleaner off of a Chevy Covair, and bought it up at the at a swap meet for five bucks. It was a bargain, I guess, because it works. So that work. That's awesome. It fits, and the best part, fits on there, and the hood closes actually. Heck yeah. So that will actually work. There we go. So now we got an air cleaner that fits under the hood. Because the one I ordered online was not even remotely close to fitting. It was too dang tall. This is just compact enough. Um, otherwise, um, other things I've bypassed the heater core because it is leaking in the cab pretty decently. Um, getting stuff all over the floor. Starting to finally dry up, but more I spilt more on the floor too, so that's not good. But either way, it just needs to be deleted for the time being until I can get a replacement. Yeah, so I just got this looped here. Um, only other thing left now is I got to solder um, the neck on this. has a little fine crack in it. And other than that, I can probably fill up the fluids again and start it up. See if we can back her out of here. I'll let you guys get a peek at what's going on here. And a small hairline crack on the back side. Found that out after I started, it started to heat up and uh, sprayed coolant out of there. So that was fun. So yeah, now I'm just gonna hit it with a wire brush a few times here. Try to clean it up best I can. A real tight spot, so. pretty clean. It's not perfect, but I think it'll work. It's pretty decent, decent back here now, so that's good. <laughs> A little bit of brake cleaner in there still. That's cool. So yeah, this solder is for like soldering brass and uh, literally says on the package for radiators, so you know they're automotive uses. So I'm gonna hope that this will be good enough. This one is an acid core, 40% tin, 60% lead. seal the whole thing at this point. I wasn't expecting that. I forgot about the possibility of um, brake cleaner getting in the in the radiator from the leak. So hopefully I still have my eyebrows because that'd be nice. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm I'm very happy that it turned out. Front has a little bit a little bit of excessiveness in there, but that's right. Around back it looks awesome. Looks like the joint's been completely soldered up. I'm gonna just top her off and uh, fire her up. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I think we are ready to start it. So I'm going to take just a little bit of gas here. This accelerator pump don't work in the carburetor. Beautiful. Way too much. Perfect. We got enough juice to start it. Pretty sure the carburetor bowls are empty, so I'm just gonna fill them up. Let's crack it over. Let's see what happens. Battery too. How about that? Let's try it with a jump pack on it. Probably not much of a difference because that jump pack's bad. Well, she's outside for the first time in a few months. What do you think about that? I don't know what that noise is. It sounds like literally metal hitting metal. Like a, like, a, like a knock, but it doesn't sound like an engine knock to me. Maybe that is an engine knock. I don't know. I'm beyond confused. I don't know. Goofy down there. 
hoses are starting to get warm. It's all working at least, so that's good. Can't really get anything working on the dash so far. Not sure what's up with that. We'll get there, I guess. The fan sounds decent at least, that's good. Oh, I suppose. And we'll pull the Thunderbird out. Get that moved to the side. See if we can get this thing put away for a second. That'd be nice. Alright, here we go. That is good for now. I gotta move a bunch of stuff. I actually sweep this out and get this all cleaned out. Also, I gotta move uh, some stuff over here. So, let's get it ready and I'll put everything back where it belongs. That'll do it for now. I'm gonna call her quits for the day, get some food, and got my stuff moved. So it stops under its own power again, so that's awesome. But I still think I'm gonna just replace the check the rear wheel cylinders at least and probably replace them because I got them. So as long as that's not gonna be too big of a job, I think it'll be good. Yeah, I'll call it good for the day. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and uh, we'll see you guys later.